Hello, Les from Thailand again. Uh, I've been asked by a few people whether I have a following video on my first time to put here. I have a, a few videos that I can do about my first time to put here. I didn't want to do it all in one because it might have gone on for about 30 minutes or so. And I think anywhere between five and 10 minutes is long enough for a video. So yes, part two of my first time in Thailand. Um, if you've watched my other video, my first time in, in Thailand and first time in Pattaya, I'll put a link above if you want to go to that video and then you, you've got it from the start of the story. So that, that was my first two nights in Pattaya. So the third night or the third day, we decided to travel around Thailand a little bit. So for the two weeks, I went to Pattaya, we went to Koh Samui, and then we went back to Pattaya, then we went to Koh Samet for a couple of nights, and then landed back in in um, Pattaya, and we spent the last couple of nights in Pattaya. So we, we got to see a few places whilst we were in Thailand. Again, all organised by my friend. He, he had the itinerary where we were going to go, and we just followed along and and enjoyed it. So our third day, I went over to Koh Samui. Um, well, Koh Samui Airport, once we landed there, it's one of the most beautiful airports I've ever been to. It's like thatch roofs on the airport buildings. Stunningly beautiful. Whether it's still like that now or not, I don't really know. But at the time, when, when we landed, it just gave you that good feeling straight away. Thinking, wow, what a beautiful place. The two main places in Koh Samui are Chuang Beach and Lamai. So we went to both of them whilst we were there on, on holiday. We were there for four days, for four nights. And the, the, the place where we stopped at was right on the beach. You stepped out of your wooden hut straight onto the beach. Again, this is going back in 2002 and it was oh, just beautiful. Turquoise coloured sea, it was warm as like jumping into a, a bath, warm bath. It's just lovely. The beach was white. It just gave you that brilliant holiday feeling straight away by being there. Um, the restaurants were cheap, alcohol was cheap, and again, yeah, the ladies, uh, big selection of ladies that you could, you could, could choose. And we went out on the night and I chose the girl that I wanted to be with for the night. And again, there was four of us all together and we all got fixed up and we all drank together, ate together, and we all went back to the, to the beach huts that we'd rented on the beach and had a party until like three or four o'clock in the morning. Just drinking, enjoying ourselves. The girls had got some street food, so we had a bit of a eating out on the on the veranda. It was brilliant. And bearing in mind that in 2002 I was 42, so fairly young. But the girl that I was with that time, she was 22. So 20 years my junior, and we really, really got on well together. Wow, it was, it's one of them magical moments. Everything is there. You click with the girl that you're with, you click with the location that you're with. It just gives you that fantastic feeling. And it was just like falling in love. And this is what you do. You're falling in love with the girl and you're falling in love with Thailand and you're falling in love with the place where you want to be. But be warned this comes at a terrible cost later and I'll do a video later on about the, the Thailand blues and I'll explain as to what I mean about the Thailand blues once you go home. But yeah, the, the holiday to Koh Samui was brilliant. For four days, it was fantastic. I couldn't have asked for anything more and it gives you a, a fantastic feeling. It's probably one of the nicest islands in Thailand um, it's a lot more different now. We went there two years ago. It's very, very developed now when it's very upmarket and it's very expensive compared to some of the other islands. Yeah, we stopped for two different hotels while we were in, in Koh Samui. 
and the second hotel that we went into we were the first guests in the hotel it was absolutely brand spanking new they even had the, the plastic coverings over the toilet everything was brand new and that worked out at uh, 450 baht a night this is going back again in 2002 but wow what a fantastic hotel it was for 450 baht a night it's much much more expensive now of course and we as is Phuket and Krabi far more expensive down south than it is up up north where I live now so Kosamui beautiful place beautiful location beautiful beaches very romantic a happy place to be and again see the girl that I was with at that time showed me a different way of living changed my attitude totally and living in Thailand um, showed me there was more to more about where you live and how happy you are with yourself as, a, as opposed to your materialistic wealth. So I put that to good use when I went back to England and changed my view on life totally just by going to Kosamui and this was a girl that did it 22 years my junior but she showed me things that changed my whole view on life. Um, as I say, four days relationship with her and we came back to Pattaya. So that's just a quick view on Koh Samui. If you've never been, put it on your bucket list to go. It's a fantastic, beautiful place to go. So please watch my next video. My next video will be about when we went to Koh Samet. So until the next time, Bye for now.